All right, so any of you guys doing LS swaps or any kind of the LS platform, 99 to 07, 06, um, and you're dropping motor and tranny in, uh, there's not much info. Well, there is a bit of information, but you kind of got to dig for it. Uh, if you're having transmission issues as soon as you've done this, and obviously your donor was fine, there you're missing a wire power wire to the tranny because for whatever reason GM decided that they wanted to have a power wire coming off the BCM. So obviously in this case we don't have a BCM anymore. This is uh 02, 03 maybe to 06 might be a little different but what you got to do so this is your connector right here this would have went to, uh, to the BCM for and then obviously to the harness to the firewall. So there's a pink wire here and that's your transmission wire. You want to give that wire 12 volts power i just hooked it into this block for now I, this has got to be all cleaned up but anyway this is giving it constant i gotta find one for auxiliary i'm not sure if it it, ha it can be constant or if you want it on auxiliary i'm gonna put it on auxiliary so that it powers up when the truck turns on obviously that wire there <clears throat> I forget the name, which one it is. It's the third one over. And then also, so how I discovered this, I was scanned the codes. I hooked up OBD2, <clears throat> wired that in, and I started scanning the codes because they put it in drive, it urges forward like normal, and it wouldn't do that. So I thought, oh, that's kind of odd. So it felt like it was in second or third gear, which it was. So transmission had no power, so whatever. And then you get, uh, there's three or four different codes you get, and they're all transmission related. And it's literally all to do with that one power wire. So here I am thinking I got bad solenoids all of a sudden, so I dropped the stupid pan, screwed around, and changed them out i mean i guess i had it was an excuse to do the filter and new fluid anyway so whatever i'm not sure on the 4l80 on this uh it may be similar but this is the 4l60 e02 4x4 so yeah that's what i discovered but anyway back up here to this one fuse this fuse would keep blowing right so i was like why does this fuse keep blowing and this fuse is pinned out to e uh what is it the e2 connector on the bot but the where it hooks into the tranny so i pulled that pin out probed it and i was like oh i'm only getting five volts here so here i am thinking that i got a bad wire the wire a wire got pinched from here to when we put the cab on right so it's like okay so i'm chasing around and i'm like oh i'll just run a new wire and then the day was coming to an end last week and i was like nah screw it or no no sorry what did i i ended up i ended up doing more um research and then figured kind of figured it out hey eh? so uh that's definitely i mean i burnt up two days screwing around with that um so if you're ever in a situation with that oh you gotta remember power up that tranny so yeah maybe this will be useful to one or some of you